Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another class on Verbling.com with Teacher Abby. This is our crossword reading class. We're going to read a short story about a light eater. How fitting our topic. And then we're going to do a crossword puzzle based on the vocabulary. Hello, Victor. Welcome back to the class. Good to see you. Hi, baby. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? It was okay. Hot, hot, normal hot day. <laughs> it's hot today? Yeah. Uh, it's actually really so. sunny. It's sunny and blue skies today, so I'm quite happy. But it's not hot. It's quite cool. <laughs> Good to see you. Nice to have you back. Mateo! Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> How are you? Can you hear me? I hear you perfectly. Fine, thanks today. You're doing good today? Today, a little, today a little bit tired because uh, the beach, uh, uh, much beach, uh, tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor thing! <laughs> good to have you back, Mateo. Thank you for joining us today. Okay. How's my girl? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Kaori, hey. how are you? Yeah, I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I have wet hair today. Yeah, what what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? After yesterday, when Ali and and Mustafa were telling me that I was fat, I decided that this morning I was gonna work out again. Uh huh. And I just oh, didn't. Oh, no. I didn't say you are fat. It was, it was Mustafa. <laughs> So I decided I would work out today, and then after my workout, I showered, and then I got distracted, and the, just the hair did not get done. Oh! <laughs> wow! I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so wow. sorry. <laughs> but it's beautiful to see. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, but thank you. <laughs> Ali, welcome back to the class. Good to see you again. Hi, Abby. How you doing? I'm okay, thank you. How are Good you? I'm okay. Thank you for coming. It's nice to have you with me again. Thank you. <clears throat> Mustafa? <coughs> Abby? <laughs> <laughs> we, f we finally see the eyes. We see Mustafa's eyes. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, my eyes. How are you today? Good morning. I'm, I'm a, a little rushed, but I'm in a great mood. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I did my exercise this morning. <laughs> I don't know what motivated me, but I was able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, Mustafa. Welcome back to the class. Welcome Today we're going to be reading a two-part story. So we're going to read the first part, the second part, and then we're going to do a crossword puzzle on one of them. The story is called The Light Eater. Victor, what's a light eater? What do you think? I think uh, the person who doesn't like to eat, maybe, uh, to, who doesn't like to eat a lot. Exactly. Are you a light eater, Victor? <laughs> it depends on my appetite. Depends what's in front of you too, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What about you, Mustafa? Are you a light eater? Uh, no, I think I am a victim in your class. <laughs> a what? A victim, victim. A victim? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, you actual, actual, actual teacher for eat, I, uh, I don't care about I If I eat a lot, I don't care because uh, I my body not respond. To, to eat. I am uh, fat always. I, I, go, I, I am not fat. <laughs> Sorry, I am not fat. Uh, so I, I can eat uh, a lot or small amount of food depends on my uh, capability and ability to eat. Okay. Uh, but I want to say something. I, I am always told my mother to to give me like vegetable food or something like this, like this, because I think it is uh, good for my health, better than the meat or something like this. Did you say you tell your mother to give you vegetable food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I w always, always. But uh, what she is, uh, <laughs> she told me uh, also 
uh, you have to take meat and to become healthy and strong or something like this. Mm, I see. Very good. Kaori, I imagine that you are a light eater. Well, yeah, basically I'm a light eater, but I sometimes become a heavy eater. <laughs> when? When do you eat a lot? So when I get the stress. Okay. I, I like to eat some sweets or some cakes or some chocolate or ice cream, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> wow. So sometimes you like to have a treat, we would say, something yeah. special. Uh, yeah, treat. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Delta, welcome to the class. How are you doing today? I'm fine, teacher. What about you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. It's good to have you back. <laughs> it's good for me too. What's the weather like today in Santo Domingo? Uh, almost, uh, now it's raining. Raining? Oh, that's nice. A nice break from the heat. Yeah. Beautiful. It's true. Do you think that you're a light eater or a heavy eater? Light eater. What's your heaviest meal of the day? I'm sorry? What's your heaviest meal of the day? The, the meal of the day where you eat the most. I already know the answer, but I want you to tell me in English. <laughs> we are talking about food because I... We are. What is your heaviest, like your heaviest mas pesado meal of the day? Is it lunch? It's obviously your lunch, right? Your comida? Delta? Have I confused you? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to confuse you. Ali, what about you? What, what meals do you eat? A light meal? And what e meals do you eat? A heavy meal? Sometimes uh, uh, at lunch, sometimes dinner. Uh, it depends <laughs> on the meal. I okay. Um, anybody else want to share what meal of the day is the heaviest? My heaviest meal of the day is definitely breakfast. Oh <laughs> my God! Why? I don't because I wake <laughs> up and I I barely eat for dinner. I don't eat, I eat like at like 5.30 or 6 o'clock at night, and then I don't eat again until the morning. So when I wake up, I'm very hungry. And uh, you, you go through the day uh, active and uh, it's normal for you, for you? Yeah, I feel great. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. I, I read a study re recently. I heard that uh, if you eat a lot uh, heavy food at the morning. Maybe maybe your heavy food is the light for other people, teacher. But I, I, I'll tell you this. I'll, okay, I'll tell you this. Okay. If you eat heavy food uh, at the morning, maybe you will become not active through the day because uh, blood or something like this goes through the day, through the, your body. Mm -hmm. And start running something like this. So you have to to eat like vegetable or something uh, light, and then the heavy food become later. I actually, I touched that w because when I ate uh, lunch uh, and become heavy food like heavy food in my for me. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I become sleepy or something like this. Like become uh, not active. I don't know because oh. maybe for you you start to practice or something something like this. Or as I told you, maybe because your heavy food. Light food for me. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I eat a sliced tomato, sliced tomato, and spinach. <laughs> Ali. Ali's going to start laughing at me. And an egg. Papaya. So tomato, spinach, an egg, and a piece of, and a, like a piece of bread for breakfast. Your breakfast? Wow. <laughs> How is weird? they eat. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a hard way to eat. Too heavy? This, uh, this is uh, your breakfast. Yeah. Okay, and I said, I said, oh Wait. my God. 
ten problem. Go ahead. What? Delta, I'm just muting you. Please leave it muted until the... I think there's a bit of a sound there. Yeah. Delta? I'm sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Can you mute, mute me? Mic. I can't. Okay. Um, it's really loud. There's like a, a noise there. Sorry. Sorry, Matteo, what did you say? No, I said uh, um, you uh, made a um, hard heater, your breakfast. Hard? You say hard. You say the spinach, uh, egg, uh, uh, it's hard, not light. No, I said it's heavy. I eat a heavy breakfast. Ah, okay, heavy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Either that or I will have a uh, smoothie, a smoothie where it's got like almond milk and a banana and blueberries and lots of different fruits and then I put it in a blender with ice and I, I make a smoothie. So it just depends what I feel like. Do you think that okay. sounds heavy, Mustafa? Actually, I, I didn't hear, hear, hear you clearly actually. Ah, forget it. Forget yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I forget <laughs> it. But I told you something. You are a strange, strange, strange girl. Because your Because you're having food at breakfast. I know. Actually, I don't know. Are the people in your city like this or just you? Our motto in Canada is eat like a king for breakfast, eat like a prince for lunch, and eat like a poor old man for dinner. Okay. That's the motto. So basically start heavy and at the end you should have like salad or something very light for dinner. That's our culture. I, I don't know for me. In our culture, no, it's the heavy food at lunch. lunch okay. Heavy food. Very good. Anybody else have a comment about when they like to eat their heavy meal of the day and why? Okay. We can go ahead and get started with our reading. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Do you want to start us off, Ali? You can read the first part of that first paragraph, please. Okay. Uh, Oscar hadn't eaten all day, but that was okay. Many scientific studies have concluded that the less people eat, the longer they live. These studies are based on experiments with mice and other small animals. So maybe the conclusions don't apply to humans. Good reading. Excellent reading. And the next part, Delta? Delta, you is your um, connection okay or do you need some time to get it stable? My connection is okay, teacher. The problem is the, the, the raining. The worries make a noise right now, so that's okay. That can is you read, stop. Just read the no. You can read the rest of that paragraph. Go ahead. It's okay. Okay. But maybe they're dude. Ocean want to live to be 100 so year ago. Uh, sorry, so years ago, he had cut back from three. Milk as they to 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 Oceanil, oceanally he ate only one meal a day. The fewer milk ocean it is killing no exciting. Okay, can you repeat for me the word occasionally? Occasionally. 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 And exercising. Good. And exercising. Ah, exercising. Okay. Beautiful. Exercising. Nicely done. Thank you very much, Delta. Any questions or comments about our first paragraph? Any questions or comments? What does it mean to cut back on something? Matteo, what do you think? What does it mean to cut back? Cut back? Yeah, what does that phrasal uh, verb mean? Okay. Um, 
cut back. Ah, um, maybe I think um, uh, um, cut uh, something for prepare uh, most uh, meal. Okay, that's true. To cut, it could be to cut something into small pieces. That's what cut means. Very good, but cut back is a little bit different. Victor, what do you think it means? I think uh, to make less. Exactly, to decrease or to make less. Yeah. What is something that you have cut back on, Victor? Uh, did you ask me, Maybe. teacher? <laughs> no, I asked Victor. Maybe quantity of gasoline that my car used. Good, very good. So you drive your car a little bit less. You've cut back on your fuel usage. Yeah. Ali, what is something that you've cut back on? Reduced. Oh, there is a dog. Who's got the puppy? Yeah. It ain't me. What? It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, work. I have to cut back uh, my work hours. Less okay. Less. Have you cut back or you say you need to? I need to, maybe. Okay, very good. Yeah, Lee, I want to see you. I want to see you out with your having your party more often. <laughs> Coyote, what's something that you have cut back on? I had to cut back the amount of sugar in the coffee. I put in in the coffee. Okay, good. Why? Because I love very sweet coffee. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I use a lot of sugar and I use a lot of milk. Would you like some coffee with your sugar? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, I used to drink my coffee with sugar too and cream, and now I drink my coffee black, and what? I love it. How did you change it? Slowly. Less Slowly. and less and less. I'll try. <laughs> Give it a go. Give it a go. Okay. <laughs> Mateo, do you understand what it means to cut back now? It means to decrease. Decrease. So tell me about something that you have decreased in your life, something you have cut back on. Mm. And the fruit. You're eating less fruit? Okay, fruit for heat, uh, another in the um, uh, uh, cat in the morning for heat uh, at, the, at the lunch. Okay, now it's not cutting. Okay, not cutting. Ah, not cutting. Okay, sorry. It's not this uh, kind of cut. No, it's a phrasal okay. verb. So the word cut and back, when we combine them, it changes the meaning of the word. To look in the chat. Uh, to cut completely. back means decrease, to go down or cut ah, back. Decrease. For example, Victor says he's cut back on gasoline. He uses less gasoline. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Reduce. And decrease. Uh, okay, decrease uh, heat, uh, uh, meal, uh, something for heat, uh, decrease. Okay. What did, okay, exactly. So you could cut back on sugar, you could cut back on fat, um, cut back on talking okay. on your telephone, social networking. Anybody else think okay, of okay. an example of something? Matteo, what have you cut back on? Okay, my cut back on is um, uh, fat. Okay. Fat and sugar. And um, uh, eat uh, a lot of things. 
Good. Excellent, excellent job. Anyone else have anything they'd like to say about cut back, what they've cut back on? It's a really useful phrasal verb. Yes, teacher. Actually, uh, it is uh, as you said. I, I, I think I realize it is uh, not the same of uh, a breakdown. It's different because a breakdown yeah. maybe yeah yeah maybe it, you have addicted to alcohol maybe, and you now break down. It, you mean lift alcohol? So this is different. Yes, it is very different. Yeah. I have cut back on social networking. I spend less time on social networking than I did maybe three weeks ago. Okay. To reduce the amount of time that you spend on something, or the amount that you eat, or whatever. Okay. Okay. Good. Anyone else? Okay. Let's go to our next paragraph. That was Ali and Kaori. So Matteo, you're going to be next. Can you read the next highlighted part for us, please? Okay. It was 11 p.m. Oscar peeled and ate a banana. He filled a knot with water and put the pot on the stove top and turned on the gas. Then he sliced six radishes, salted them lightly and ate them. Then he washed and ate two Salary stalks. After that, he ate a half cup of assorted nuts. Excellent, very good. And Mustafa, could you finish that off for us? Mustafa? Okay, um, Victor? He loved the pecans best. Although they were the fewest in the assortment, he sliced a lemon in half and then used a squeezer to squeeze all the lemon juice into an empty cup. When the water in the pot began to boil, he grabbed a box of pasta from the cabinet. Very good. Any questions on the vocabulary here? Pe Pecans. Pecans are, it's a type of nut, it um, looks like a walnut, but it is, here I'll show you a picture. Uh, it's a thing. Did you see it? Uh-huh. That's a pecan. Ah, okay, 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 okay. 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 Usually we make pie, pecan pie. Okay. But they're an expensive nut, so that's why they say there's less in the assortment. Mm -hmm. Any other questions on the vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Can can you sorry? Can you come back to the paragraph, please? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, I didn't understand uh, put uh, the boot on the stove, stove top. What's this stove? He put stove the is... pot, pot yes. on pot, the stove yes. top. So the stove top is the cooking surface. That... Oh, okay. 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 And the pot is just the, the metal... Um, how would I describe the pot? <laughs> you fill it with water and you put it on top of the oven or the stove and it, it can hold a lot of water or liquids. That's a pot. Uh, sorry, teacher. And uh, Oscar build. What's the build mean? Peeled. Peeled. Peeled is to remove the skin of a vegetable. Oh, okay. okay. To, to remove the peel. So we call the outside of a vegetable the peel. And when you peel it, it means to remove that from the vegetable or the fruit. Okay, teacher. Uh oh. It's my it's favorite a, it's day. It's the same, Abby, uh, for a potato, for example. 
It's exactly the peel. same for a potato. You peel a potato, you peel an apple, you peel a cucumber, you peel any vegetable okay. or fruit when you remove the skin. Okay. Okay? I think I'll have to go inside again. Any other questions about this paragraph before we go to the next story? Okay. Gonna go back and read the second one. The light eater number two. Okay, so now I think we're going to go back to our Mustafa. I guess you can read now because you didn't read the last one. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Oscar uh, examined uh, the, the pasta box on the front in large letters. Was, uh, in, was Parella, Pini, Itali, Italis, brand of pasta. On the on the side in a small uh, print at the very bottom was product of USA. Oscar shook shook his ha shook his head. They they tricked me again. Uh, they tricked me again. He felt he he added two cups of pasta to the boiling water and set the timer. Okay, very good, Sultan. Welcome to the class. Hi, Sultan, are you there? Something wrong there. Um, okay, back to Ali. Ali, could you finish off that paragraph for us? Okay. Uh, while the pasta was cooking, Oscar took uh, a cucumber out of the fridge. He peeled it, sliced it, and salted the slices, and ate them all while he read this week, a popular weekly news magazine. Finished with the uh, cucumber, he sliced a pear and ate it. Okay, cucumber. Cucumber. Much better, cucumber. Cucumber. Any questions on the vocabulary for that paragraph? No. Okay, very good. Now, why did he feel like he was being tricked, Kaori? Why did he feel like he was tricked? He was tricked, why? Yeah, he said, oh, they tricked me again. Why did he feel tricked? Hmm. Uh, he thought it's easy to eat. Okay, now quite. Who picked? I don't know. That's okay. No worries. Who picked up on that detail? Who can tell me why he felt because tricked? Because it's product of USA. And he thought. He thought, thought? He thought uh, it's from Italy. Exactly. Very good. Says number oh, one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Exactly. Thank you very much, Elise. So he thought he was having an authentic Italian pasta, but no, he was eating American pasta. And a small print at the very bottom. Exactly. Can anybody give me another example of when you think you're having an authentic product, but then you learn that it was made in a different location? Can anybody think of an example? May I often see uh, jeans? You often see what? Uh, jeans made in USA with large leathers and <laughs> in small print it made in China. Can you say the word again, Victor? What is it? Jeans. Jeans? Jeans, pants. Pant oh, jeans, jeans. Jeans. There you go. Okay, there's, yeah, that's a good example. Maybe American name brand on them. Mm -hmm. And then you look closely, see it's made in China. What does that's mean they tricking me again? So this is the... To say they tricked me again, Delta, 
That means that he, he, he was misguided. He thought that he was purchasing something and then he realized that it was like a, a truco. He thought he was getting one thing, but he ended up being tricked and he got another. Okay. Anybody else have a question? No, actually, teacher, just about your, your last question also. Here in my country, <laughs> where we, we, you can be tricked by clothes or something, by, uh, by devices you, you buy, maybe TV or like a watch, maybe they say they made in Japan, maybe made in China or something like mm -hmm. this. So, so maybe you have to be more careful. No, absolutely. Good example, Mustafa. All right, let's continue. Um, Delta, could you read the next highlighted part for us? Okay. The time went off. Oscar put her the hot weight uh, draw a plastic tra uh, straining and then put the pasta into the bowl. He added a herd, a herding table put of butter to the hot pasta let uh, to the hot pasta and let it melt in the heat powder the lemon juice onto the pasta he chopped up part of red onion on the mist into the pasta excellent thank you Kaori the rest of that paragraph please Okay, he drained a can of boneless herring fil fil fillet. 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 Ah, okay, fillet, and stirred them into the pasta. He sprinkled garlic powder and grated parme parmesan cheese onto the pasta. He put the spoon into the bowl, sat down on his dining room table, and uh, dug in. Excellent. Good job. Thank now, you. let's just repeat a couple of these words. Delta, can you um, turn your microphone on for a moment? Delta, I'd like you to repeat the word poured. Poured. Delta? Come in, Delta. Okay, I'll repeat them for you. It's poured, heaping, chopped, mixed. Everything else sounded really good. Any questions here? Nope. Okay, we're going to continue then. Musta, um, dug in, maybe. Dug in. This is when you take your fork, Victor, and you put it deep into your food. Whoops, sorry. You put it deep into your food. It's like you dig, like you dig a hole in the ground with a shovel. You dig into your food with your fork. Okay. Okay. And the last paragraph, Mateo, read it for us. Okay. When Oscar finished the pasta, he washed the dirty dishes and utensils. Then he poured cold non-fat milk into a large glass, sat down and slowly had half of a five-ounce bar of Irish's special dark candy. He washed it down with the milk. Now that was worth waiting for he thought. Okay, excellent. So what do you guys think of Oscar's eating habits? What do you think of Oscar's eating habits? Let's ask um, Victor. I think Oscar is gourmand. <laughs> He's what? Gourmand. Like gourmet? Uh, maybe. Like he eats a fancy food? Yeah. Okay. What do you think of his pasta dish, Victor? Does it interest you? Uh, you know, I, I'm not good at kitchen. I, 
<laughs> you can say, I'm not good in the kitchen. I'm not good in the kitchen, yeah. It's something something strange for me. Mixed, okay. Mixed pasta and... <laughs> I, You're not super comfortable there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Anybody else want to give an opinion about the pasta dish that, that uh, Oscar preferred? If you think it sounds good. I think it sounds absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Does anyone think it sounds good or bad? <laughs> Matthew say just eat. <laughs> you are hungry, just eat. Yeah, that's true. No, it's no, almost I, like I, 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 No, I like cooked. Okay. <laughs> mm. If you want, if you want, uh, I can cook for uh, uh, everybody. <laughs> That sounds lovely. I think we will accept your offer. <laughs> As you can tell, I never say no to food. <laughs> so he cleans up, and what does he have for dessert, Ali? What? What does he have for dessert? Oh, Cheesecake. No, he didn't have cheese. Good. Dark candy. Ah, we are talking about the, yeah. <laughs> the articles. <laughs> Special dark candy. Exactly. That's just dark chocolate. Another way to say dark chocolate. So, Delta, you like cheesecake? Is that your favorite? Yeah. I thought uh, we are talking about what is the, um, our, our dessert, favorite dessert. Uh-huh. And for that reason, I say cheesecake. I'm sorry. That's okay. But you, um, what kind of cheesecake do you like? Uh, I just uh, vanilla cheesecake. Yummy. Plain. It sounds like New York style cheesecake. I imagine. What about you, Ali? What's your favorite dessert? Me. Yeah. Uh, can you guess? Mm, baklava? Yes. Mm, delicious. That is one. I would say that's probably my favorite dessert as well. Yeah. It's not really available here. Like, they make it here, but it's not, not as good as when my uncle used to bring it from Turkey. But it's, it's, um, it's can definitely... You, can you make it? Um, I've never your, tried. Your, your parents? No, we've never tried. It's um, pistachio nuts are very um, well. First of all, they come shelled and they're quite expensive. So I don't think we've ever made that, actually. But maybe I should try to make it. Maybe you can do that. I think. Does it have phyllo pastry? You know what phyllo pastry is? What? It must be phyllo pastry. Ah, never mind, never mind. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Any questions on the vocabulary? You guys understand what dig in is? Hoard? Wash it down? Worth waiting for? You guys understand all of those expressions? Teacher, sorry, what's the, differ the, the difference between dishes and utensils? Dishes are like the plates and the bowls. So what you put the food on, and utensils are the fork, the knife, the spoon, the things that you use to eat. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, that's a good question. I'm glad you brought that out, Mustafa. Does everyone understand that? However, Mustafa... Um, uh, Abby. Yeah? Abby, sorry. Uh, he uh, um, sprinkled, sprinkled, sprinkled garlic, yeah. sprinkled. It's a verb. It's a verb. It's um to do something like this. I'm gonna. You guys are. It's gonna be really bright when I turn my camera, and I don't think you'll see me. But you take something in your hand, and you go like this. Uh huh. So maybe like salt ah, or okay. herb, and then you go like that. And you just kind of put okay. a little bit over top of the food. That's to sprinkle. Okay. 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 Thanks, Abby. Okay. It, exactly. So for powder, it would be to take the container and just go t -t 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 just a little bit on the top. 
Ok, spolverare in Italy. Ok, there you go. Alrighty, let's go into our crossword puzzle. One across, we're going to start with Coyote. Ok. Abby, sorry, can you zoom up? I can. Is that better? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. She something put up the let lettuce and carrots and added them to the salad. She peeled. Not quite. Not quite. Remember, peel is to remove the skin. Yes. It's a it's a synonym chopped. for chopped. Pardon? There you go, chopped. Good okay. job. Thank Woo! you. Woo, Kaori. Yay! Nicely done, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go backwards. <laughs> we'll go to um, Delta. Two down. I sorry, I was in the kitchen. What are we not, what, what are we gonna do? I want you to read this sentence up here and tell me what word is missing. It starts with an H. Okay. Can you read it for us? I try to understand. Let's see. Uh, this is put down. Pickle chop and and okay, in the screen number two that I have to do right yeah uh, in whole screen it's the it's, it starts with an H it's here's the word hair remember it's a type of fish uh, here's type of fish yeah I don't know, teacher. Okay, it's a her herring. 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 So pickled herring and herring and cream sauce are two popular herring products. Pickled herring and herring and cream sauce are two popular herring products. These small oily fish live in North Atlantic. I don't like herring. Too fishy for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, okay, okay. Yes, I don't like either. It's like bacalao. But yeah, it's bacalao. No, it's it's not bacalao. It's it's arenque. like it's like it. oh, okay, okay, okay. Six across, six across. Let's go over to Ali. Okay. Uh, it's spring salt, pepper, powdered garlic, and Parmesan cheese on top of the plate of pasta. Oh, you answered number six down. You're being a rebel. Sprinkled. Is that what you said? Sprinkled? Yeah. Good job. Excellent. Six across, Victor. She took the pot of pasta off the stove top and poured the boiling water through the wow. I forget <laughs> that thing. Strainer. St strainer. So what does the strainer look like, Victor? Uh, I like a, a pot without button. <laughs> kind of, yeah, with holes in it, right? Tiny holes. Yeah. Good job. What else do you use a strainer for? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Usually to drain drain water from pasta or vegetables, right? Yeah, I think you are right. <laughs> <laughs> Just trust me. Trust me, Victor. It's true. Okay. Very good. Three down. Three down, Mustafa. Uh, uh, sorry. A sp mm. Spatula. A spatula. Uh, a spatula, a, bata, uh, a potato, pillar, and strainer are three examples of popular 
kitchen. Okay, so three down. This is also a word that describes three fork, kitchen. knife, and spoon. Uh, yes. You just. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, on, uh, I forget the word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the mean? I have to remember it. Uh, tensile or something like this. Close. Uh, you. You. You tens. Utensils. Utensil. I think maybe you cut out. Yeah, there you go. Utensil. Oh, I just have to close this blind. It's hot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Perfect. Utensils. Okay, let's go to the next word. Um, eight across, and we'll go over to Mateo. Eight across, the top one. Okay. He asked his wife where the butter was. She told him it was in the... Where, what else would it be? <laughs> um, okay, this is a eight vertical. Horizontal. Uh, no. Uh, eight, eight, eight. Cold, cold place. Um, Where do you keep your beer? <laughs> keep your beer. Where do you keep your beer? Where do you keep Be your prosecco? Ah. Uh, um, oh my God. In the See? kitchen. All of the in the kitchen, all of the things that should be cold. Mustafa. <laughs> Fridge. <laughs> Fridge. Thanks. Mustafa needs a snack. <laughs> no, teacher, you, we have to help my our friend. Is I that can't. helping or is that giving him the answer? <laughs> <laughs> Any questions about that? Who has something delicious in their fridge right now? Who has something really delicious in their fridge right now? I have I have cherries. What do you have, Victor? I have ice cream. Mm, that's your freezer though. That's your freezer. Yeah. All right, that's heavy. Yeah. The fridge, the, the fridge, it's um, uh, up, uh, up parts uh, our fridge for freezing. Refrigerator. Uh, yeah. No, okay. Refri refrigerator, it's um, completely okay. Yeah. In this case, fridge, it's a up part for uh, for, for for take ice. No, okay? that's the freezer. Ah, okay, freezer, okay. Okay, so the fridge then, keeps it cold, the freezer keeps it frozen. Okay, okay. Comment? Okay, perfect. Coyote, eight down. Okay. A boneless something was not her liking. She liked all her meat with bones in it. Filet. Hey, good girl. Yay. Good, good <laughs> job. A filet. Filet mignon, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> good job. So are you, do you like meat, Coyote? Yes. What's your what? favorite kind of meat? Mm, beef. Beef? Really? Yes. yes. Wow, I didn't expect a girl from Japan to have her favorite meat be beef. Really? Yeah, I, I, I love burgers. I thought <laughs> I thought maybe seafood, which isn't really meat, but I but uh, I thought maybe seafood or yeah. something. Yes. Okay, eleven across. Delta, it's your turn again. Eleven across. Okay. He watching 
Bergling, uh, Bergling as the butter uh, and other hot beer brands. Give me another letter, teacher. Okay, it starts with an M. And this is when something very cold. Meat. What? Meat. Not meat, no. The butter did this on the bread. So if you have cold butter and you put it on hot bread, what happens to the butter? Make liquid. Uh, boil, but let's see. It's a difficult one. Melt. 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 Melted on the hot bread. Okay? Okay. Good job. Number 14 across, Ali. Okay. Okay. She blanked with the pasta occasionally in the boiling water so that it wouldn't stick together. Is filled. Very good. Stirred. Stirred. Yeah. Stirred. <laughs> good. Excellent. Twelve. Twelve down. Victor. The label on the box said that a uh, blank would blank five hundred page from the enclosed black ink cartridge. When you have a document on your computer that you want a hard copy. Print, print. Perfect. Good job. Print. Beautiful. Five down. Is Mustafa back or did he? Yeah, Mustafa. Mustafa? Mateo? Okay, and uh, many people think uh, pasta, a pasta dish, is incomplete without garlic and cheese. And uh, five. This is your specialty. What kind of cheese do you normally put on your pasta? Ah, parmesan. 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 Okay. Parmesan. Yes. Good job. Excellent. So in English we say Parmesan. Parmesan. Perfect. Nicely done, Matteo. Matteo, do you like Parmesan cheese? Oh, yes. Of course. <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay. Kaori, seven across? Yes. She took the cheese out the package and it into small pieces with the something. Hmm. So this is what you, you take the cheese and you rub it on something with holes in it. Yes. And the cheese comes through the holes. What's that called? Starts with a G. 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 <laughs> Gray. Gray? <laughs> oh, someone help me. <laughs> someone help her. Great. Great. So, great. Yeah. Anybody know? Pardon? Thanks, Ali. So, this is um, Delta. You know what greater is? A gr and to great cheese? I think uh, it's Rayador. I, uh, okay, okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So cutting it or putting it into tiny, tiny pieces very quickly. Okay. Good job. Let's go to our next word, four down. Um, we'll go back to you, Delta. Let's see. The pasta was stinking to, to the, the, the spout. Uh, so he used a metal utensil to scrap its loss. Give me a letter, teach you the first letter. Okay, no problem. Uh, bo uh, bo step. 
Uh, it's not the top of the pot. What's the opposite of top? What's top? The opposite of top. Um, arriba. La parte arriba. Ah, uh, uh, bow down. Bottom. A uh, bottom. Bottom. Okay. It's like that's how we say la parte abajo. We say bottom or top. Okay. Okay. And we've got time for another one. Ali, ten across. Oh, this this is for Kaori. This one. For me. Well, just wait. <laughs> Ali. Okay. Eating lots of fresh, minced, chopped, powdered, or cooked every day keeps vampires away. <laughs> And people too. <laughs> Any ideas, Ali? Garlic. Hey, good job. So if you if you if you want to keep Kaori away, <laughs> you gotta eat lots of garlic. But I think that would keep any woman away. <laughs> Good. Any questions? Perfect. We'll do one more. One more, Victor. Are you ready? Okay. Nine down. <coughs> Peel off the dark green skin of a row. I think cucumber. Very Cut good. Into slice about the size of pocket chips. Sprinkle with salt and enjoy. Mmm, one of my favorite things to eat, cucumbers. Good, so 13, 13 down, a heap of dirty clothes was on the bed. She gathered them up in a sheet and took them to the laundry. So a heap is like a pile, a pile. 16 across, she powdered her face in the bathroom while he packed gunpowder and pellets into shotgun shells. Interesting. She bowl, rinsed out bowl, 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 bowl. Beautiful. Any questions or comments about our vocabulary or the words that we've seen before we close? My room is not very clean Let today. So I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mustafa, you had a question? Oh, I can't hear you now. Sorry. Hear me? Um, like off and on, off and on. It's cutting out. No, no. Yeah. What's your question? Uh, I you said uh, about uh, the class. It was like difficult for me actually because I I am not familiar. Uh, to vegetable and to food. I have uh, to read, actually I have to read something about food and vegetable in English. To, Interesting. To so maybe we, we've done a lot of classes, I think right before you started coming, wasn't it Victor? Mm -hmm. We were doing a lot of classes about food, weren't we? No, I don't remember. No? I thought we did a lot about restaurants, fruits, vegetables. Ali, didn't we? Yes. But we can, I can maybe send you some vocabulary, Mustafa, or we can do a class in the future about fruits and vegetables if you like. Okay, we can, teacher, thank you. We can make a pasta in the class. Maybe. I could cook for you <laughs> for an English class. I could cook for you. you watch me cook. <laughs> maybe I will. And you guys can learn about cooking instructions you in like English. That's idea. Yeah. Uh, we we did it uh, before uh, another teacher. They cooked for the class. Yeah. Uh, what did they do? Who was it? Uh, teacher Andre. Ah, very he, cool. He he made a pasta, something like that, uh, in the kitchen. That is a really good idea. I think I might have to copy him. <laughs> Okay, good to see you guys. I have to go start my next lesson, but it was good to see you. Awesome work today, and I hope to see you guys in one hour, okay? okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.